Oklahoma soldiers continue to arrive home after serving in Afghanistan for the last year. In all, 3,200 Oklahoma ah! National Guard soldiers were deployed, the largest deployment since the Korean War. Tonight, a special event is happening to honor those heroes and celebrate their safe return. More than 5,000 people filled the Maybe Center in Tulsa for a welcome home concert. Two News reporter Brianne Pomerini is live in South Tulsa tonight with more. Brianne. Well, organizers of tonight's event say there are plenty of soldiers who are not yet home in Oklahoma, but they say this event is dedicated to all soldiers, even those who will never make it home. The Galvins have a seat of honor in the front row, on the floor, in the section reserved for active military personnel, Blue Star mothers, and Gold Star families. The Gold Star family, we, it's a group that you don't want to belong to, but you are proud when you're in it. Their son, Sergeant Daniel Lee Galvin, was killed in action while serving in Afghanistan. We lost him in the crash of a Black Hawk helicopter. During a special tribute, Sergeant Galvin and all of Oklahoma's fallen soldiers were honored. Events like this are real important. They let us know that our, our children are not forgotten. That is the worst thing that can happen is to forget them. U.S. Army Field Band performed. They travel and perform all over the country. For this event, they tailored their set and musical selections to reflect the message. The feeling tonight, I think, will, will be one of uh, gratitude. Filling the stands, veterans, and their families. As far back as World War I, all the way up to current, we, we love each and every one of our heroes because without them, we would not be the America we are today. Organizers say they would like to do events like this more often so people keep our nation's heroes at the top of their minds. We need to remember them each and every day, and we need to do more of these. We need to do more of our welcome homes. And if you see a veteran on the street, go up to them, shake their hand, thank them for their service. They paid the ultimate price, and they, like I said, they put on the uniform willingly. It's not for the money, it's not for the fame. Well, nearly 300 Oklahoma soldiers have already come home this week, and hundreds more are expected in the weeks to come. Live in South Tulsa, Brianne Pomerini, 2 News, works for you.